So uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the um, Art So Wonderful Show. I'm Bruce Wilson, the general partner. And before I introduce our incredible guests, I'm going to go over some of our um, our upcoming events for uh, Art So Wonderful. And um, help me out, Candace, if I, if I grow, you know, if I don't get them right. So on um, April 1st, we're doing, um, we work with um, CVOEO um, organization about fair housing. And what that consists of is what we're going to do. It's going to be at Burlington City Hall. We're going to have um, people going to um, do art and, and um, you know, drawings to say what does fair housing means to them. And uh, we're going to hang them up in City Hall, Burlington, uh, me and my art director, Alondra, and um, for one month. And they're going to, people going to come in. We'll, we'll have a QR codes on the wall. And um, people who come into City Hall will vote on um the winners, top three winners. So that's April first. That's for the whole month. And then on um our so wonderful um Vermont Housing Finance Agency, <clears throat> this is an equity project, and it's going to be um April twelfth from four to eight, and it's going to be at um what's going to be um it's going to be at um O'Brien Center in Winooski, and individuals who are interested in being a first time home buyer can come there, sign up to register to um get the information and learn how to uh, be a first time home buyer and ho hopefully be become one. We're going to have like um, lenders there, credit unions, mortgage people. We're going to have um, um, like human rights commission to tell you about uh, know your rights, you know, about housing. And um, it's going to be a cool event. We're going to, it's because we have like free food there uh, for the kids in the gym there. We're going to have, uh, I'm going to have um, like bounce houses, you know, <laughs> for the kids, you know, they can say, where Bruce at? He like, he, he ain't back there in the bounce house. <laughs> <laughs> so so okay that's april 12th and then april 27th we're gonna do the cleanup um it's called um art so wonderful i uh, give me give it i also want a graffiti sunset cleanup right i dig it right so that's gonna be uh for downtown area and then basically <clears throat> it's gonna be um you know uh, high school kids and people can, can earn community service hours and um, we're also going to have like swag bags from all the different uh, stores up around downtown. You know that whoever uh, whoever does do this, they will have um, be able to get these swag bags. You know, I don't know what's in them yet, but I, I want one. <laughs> and it's going to be some cool stuff in because there's a lot of nice um, shops down there. And the thing about it is that we want people to like you know do your community service. <laughs> what? Can't say that's I'm too bossy. I shouldn't say do your community service, but it you know it's about them, right? It's about their their neighborhood, their community. They should clean up, you know, help us out and 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 get stuff from it. And then after that, it's from four to eight, and then around eight o'clock, we're gonna have a, um we're gonna have um live entertainment, like um DJ performing. <clears throat> so now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce um Candice Owens, who is um. Uh, Poetry Pioneer, CEO, President, my friend, and my business partner. So, Candice, you know, we've talked a lot about um, Poetry Pioneer, and um, boy, and um, you, you got some incredible um, poetry. And if people can look you up on poetrypioneer.com and check out and get signed up, you know, and get some information from the, directly from you. So, um, you you say it's gonna open up with a point for us, right? Can you do? Yes. It? Will you please do that. So I'll go ahead and start out, and I found one I felt like that would be really relevant for the world today for all of us, and so it's entitled um, "Be Kind," and it says, "Please be kind. Please let's get out of our mind. Please let's leave the evil and drama behind. We can all seek what we wish to find. We have to take a break to get out of the daily grind." We have to do look at what we're truly assigned. We cannot let the world keep heading towards decline. We have to wake up as we've been designed. Even though some can see we are all a form of blind, what has happened to mankind? Things have become gods and humans have become mine. We are all one, we are humankind. Let's all realign. Let's unlock our unconscious mind. We can change the world and break free by not being confined. We can all reset and redefine. All we have to do is take a deep breath and be kind. Wow. Uh, I mean, you know, gosh. And I feel like I need to take one right now, too. So I'm going to do one. 
and needed that deep breath. It's, I'm telling okay. you, that's an incredible poem. I love I love that one. And um and also like that that particular poem right there is um you know for me it's you know it brings out like you know like be kind to one another you know um you know it's like you know it's, it's like stay on a narrow path you know what I'm saying with the you know what I'm saying like <laughs> let the light shine on you you know what I'm saying and be good you know guess what and, and once the light shine down on you mm -hmm. you can share that light with others I mean others will will learn something from you and and also um, share that light to to the other, to other people, and so that's the whole thing about your poetry is like you know it's got this spiritual piece in it that um, about human beings, about humanity, about sharing um, mm -hmm. what I like to call what I personally like to call the light to people. You know what I mean? And um, you know to stay on a narrow path and um, and and be good. You know, and so that's. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, and I feel like that's part of my, my the reason I, I created Poetry Pioneer and the website is because there was just so much negativity and darkness out, not darkness, we'll just say um, things that can make you feel dark, right? And not full of light. And so um, I've been writing poetry since I was in seventh grade. It's an extreme passion of mine. It's actually how I heal myself and deal with these things in the world. And um. I felt like I should share it. So I started doing that and we connected and, you know, I, my website, I've been published in um, a couple international publications and analogies and um, I'm glad to partner with you. And it is, it's all about spreading the light because we can all focus on, it's easy to find stuff wrong in the world, but if we can find what's right and then trying to find like being kind that, you know, someone on the side of the road, you just saying, have a good day it could change their whole, the rest of their day. And I think we get so busy. We just forget to connect with each other and take those moments to be like, Hey, whether it's words or whatever, but um, thank you for letting me to share that. Yeah, no doubt about it. And we got a lot of work to do because um, we'll talk about it in a little while about, um, cause we're going to be doing, um, continue to do this work together with our, our podcast coming up in March. What's I, I forget the date. What's the date? What's the date uh, of our podcast? Our podcast. March 15th. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so March 15th, we're going to start, that's going to be our first podcast, and um, we're going to be talking about poetry, and we're going to talk about some surprise stuff. We're going to have uh, people get, we'll have guests in, on it. Uh, we're going to do uh, prizes. I mean, people can submit their uh, poetry to us, and we let them read it on our podcast and, and you know, find ways to um, connect with them, how we can all work with everyone's poetry Tech, they can share it for people around the world, you know, and so I can't. That's gonna be that's gonna be incredible. I can't wait for that because we got a lot of things that we we are planning. You know? I mean, events, you know, coming up. We're gonna do. It's gonna be always gonna have poetry in it from the, from the beginning to the middle to the end, and um, and so so Candice, um, so I know you know I get it from you about the poetry and why you you know why it's a part of you, you know, because you've been doing it since seven, seven, seven years old, you know what I mean, and um. And you feel how it makes you feel, though. You know, I mean, really, you know, when you um write poetry and um when we recite, when you recite poetry, your you know, spe especially your poetry, because you create the words, like everything that every poem that we you know you share in your on your website, in our uh, Instagram and all the other um, social media that you have with the uh, um, poetry pioneer, it's all something you wrote written. So. Where did that come from? How did how do you how did you bring that? How did that come out your body or your mind or your body? Um, so the best way I can say it, um, and I, I know I'm not alone in the world that there's other people out there that feel this way, but it's something greater than me, right? So the writing is something I just do because it's what I'm drawn to do. But I've always felt like I had this message inside me that was just in poetry was the way I was able to express it. I think in even one of my poems, I put only through poems do I know how to convey. Um, because I can have a conversation with someone, but I don't feel like, you know, we can really talk about some things, but to write it. And like you said, to speak it, I feel like, you know, the things that I, that I connect with, it's like, I'm observing the world and I see what's bad. And then I try to flip it around with words and say, this is what's good. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that I've, I mean, ever since I've been a little girl, I'm like, I want to, I want to be a poet. I want to be a poet. I want to change the world with poetry. And my, my logo is inspire your desire because I feel like we've lost our desires 
um, for creativity and to connect with that source where those things come from, whether you're a painter or you're a musician. And I think that's why it's good to connect with other artists because we all have that in us. Mm -hmm. And so um, to get it out and to share it and then to get the feedback, hey, people actually like it. I'm like, oh, wow. So (laughs) I'm actually pretty good. So I'm just going to keep going with it. But I think that's kind of what it's been is it's just I didn't really have a choice. It's like I have this thing yeah. inside of me that I need to write. I need right. to express. And um, I'm going to share it and I'm going to create websites and I just followed my intuition. And then that's kind of where we're at. So, right. And uh, how, you know, how good is that? You know, that was like definitely straight, straight up from God sent that down to you. You know, couldn't be no, no, no other way. And, um, and it's something that, you know, you've been doing since seven years old. And, um, you know, just like you said, uh, people, have, you know, have lost their desire. And um, they're in this world where, um, um, with this world, I'm saying they are they in this world. We're we're in this world. <laughs> Just them, no, not us. You know what I mean? But <laughs> you know, if they could have um, learned how to like, you know, like like the Bible, stay on the narrow path. You know, what I mean, kind of like try to be um, is um, you know follow their goals, dreams, and aspirations, like you were just saying, they lost their inspiration, their desire, you know. We all grew up, um, you know, wanting to be a doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, fireman, a policeman, ballerina, or something. And then all of a sudden, you know, some for some reason in the world, a lot of us have that fell off, that dreams and goals and aspirations. And why did that happen? Probably because of some of the um, negativity in this world that we felt involved with. And, um, and so, um, and like, you know, like, you, you know, like, we, and we was always born with poetry, like somewhere in our school, like roses are red, violets mm-hmm. are blue, you know what I mean? And, you know, that's all about, like you said, seeing the world. I mean, like roses are red and violets are blue. And so that's that, you know, and that's because that was part of what it is in the world, for real, for real, you know what I mean? And so I know I can understand what you meant by, you know. How you well, mean by seeing things? And I think we had talked about it too. Um, uh, and I'll just share it. So I had about, and before I created my website, I had a near death experience. Like I, mm. I had a lot of health yeah. issues. I, you know, my world has not been easy. I um, have had non abdominal surgeries and multiple. Uh, but the last one I had, I, I almost died. And and when I came back, my I spent almost you know, three months in and out of the hospital and poetry was the the only, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. there's not someone by you every day that can be there 24 mm-hmm. seven. And so, you know, journaling and doing those things and getting those emotions out was really the only way I was able to keep my spirits high. And so, um, you know, it's not only a passion and a hobby, it, it also helps me is to, to do what I need to do. Right. Because I'm like, if I can't do anything, if I can write, you know, then that's something that, that I can do. And so, um, but I just wanted to show that because like you said, the narrow path and there was times I didn't even know if I was going to be have a path, you know, they're like, you're not going to be able to walk. And I'm like, yeah, watch me. Yeah, I am. I'm not ready. <laughs> right. Here you're we go. Ready. Right. <laughs> and I know. So, so that's, uh, that's what I'm talking about. And like, you know, we all had ups and like I say, including myself, ups and downs and turnarounds and trials and tribulations and all kinds of, you know, that kept us off the the narrow path. We're gonna keep using that, you know. Um, and when it's as a as the Bible said, wide as the road, and mm-hmm. many follows that. And it's true. There's so many people on wide as the road, you know. And I've you know I've, I, I like I say I had to repent all day long and try to stay on the narrow path. I'm like, dear Lord, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have thought that. I shouldn't have. I should have went left instead of right. You know, I'm always repenting all day long because I don't want to stay on the narrow path. You know, and um, and I wanted us continue to do um, do the God's will and do the good, the work that we do. You know, because everything I ever do, and everybody who knows me in Vermont, you know, whoever who all knows me, you know, all I do is help and work with people, and that's that's the best that I am. I can't, I don't know if I can do anything else. <clears throat> I think I have my God have sent me to do this work because many times I said, "Can I was like, I ain't doing this no more. I'm sick of it." I ain't working no damn youth. I ain't working no people, places, or things. You know, I ain't going. You know, blah blah blah. And then, like, so when I say that, I say, "Oh God, I should, I should open up a, um, a, 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 some type of are you sending in um in Kentucky's malls? You know, what I, mean? I should open up something in you know a kit for youth and because uh, in Baltimore, like our director is saying, you know, because it's high risk in Baltimore. And I think I told you we're starting to look for a place there. You know, you know another another. Uh, 
Avenue. And then, then my mind said, I actually will put up one in, in Baltimore too, and, and somewhere in the malls or something. And I started looking for places, you know. And so even though, you know, I might be like, oh, I'm so sick of this work. You know, I mean, uh, I could be on vacation in Cancun or Aruba somewhere. I mean, I, I wish I was on Cancun or Aruba somewhere, you know, just chilling. And that, But I know for a fact that I always like, somebody say youth or families or community or something that I think I can do, that I do. Um, I'd be like, whoa, wait, wait a minute, you know. Let's let's talk about it. Here I'm on vacation. I still doing work. This good this I say God's work, this God's work, and uh for fam you for families and whoever, for everybody, you know. So I can't it, I don't know nothing else to do, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I don't know what else I can do but but this work, you know. And I know this is all I ever do, you know. So you know, well, I'm I happy, know I know I'm as happy. a little girl, I always wanted to be a poet, but I never really had anyone <clears throat> around me to look at that was like, hey. I'm a successful poet. Um, you know, like you have Maya Angelou and all these really famous ones that you see, but you don't really have anyone to connect with. So I hope like, like you'd help the youth. I hope as I keep going that I can do that too, because, you know, whether, you know, it doesn't, I'm not like world famous or anything, but you know, at the same time, well, I guess I can't, but at the same time, the thing is I never gave up on my dream, right? I worked full time at a university. I've been here for 20 years. But on the side, my passion, I just kept doing it. You know, those nights I had free time, I dedicated to it. I got my LLC, you know, I've been working on all that and, and just trying to yeah. partner with places like you, which is going to, you know, an art so wonderful and do these, you know, come to Vermont and see things there. Like, I'm really excited to. Yeah. I mean, they go, they're going to be excited to see you too, you know, because you know, I got a lot of people to introduce you to when you get here. And, um, you know, all these incredible, you know, people you will you will meet them, you know, all the people who um who um believe in the work I do, you know. Um and so um like I mean it they will see that what the work we're gonna be doing, you know, the, not the work we're gonna be doing, the work that we're doing, you and I, Candace, you know, poetry pioneer are so wonderful. Um it's like um it's just meant to be, you know what I'm saying? And I just like um I'm so excited. You know what I mean? I'm really excited, you know what I mean? Like Every day I think about poetry partner and I think about our so wonderful collabo, synergizing, being proactive, you know what I mean? All together, all those balls into one, you know what I mean? Um, and my mind just goes, just like, I think of so many things hit my brain until I can't even think of what, what the hell I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying? They all hit it once, I'm like, what? What? It's like a ball of confusion almost, you know? But it's because it's all good, but I still, you know, there's it's so many good things and I just can't pull it out of my head like I want to, you know? I have to like really like, you know, you pull a lot of things out. You know, you say you pull a lot of things out of here. Like I say, wow, how good is that? How wonderful is that? I mean, that you know, like I told you, saying, you know, I say, Candy, she gonna have to like keep me structured on that thing, cause like like all my team do, cause like I'm all over the place. I got you know, I sit on I don't know how many boards and you know commissions and da da da. You know, you know, I do a lot a lot of work and I'm all over the place. And like, I, if I could just like stay focused on to some some of everything that I do, you know what I mean. I'm mm -hmm. always like try to make them all work together, and I do. You know, like if I got art, I want music. When if I got uh, educational events about drugs and not called the Bible, I want art, music, drugs, and not called music because all they all work together. You know, I mean, you'd be surprised if, you, like I say, just like the cleanups that, that you helped me design. Um, I say we say, all right, we're gonna clean up. We're gonna clean up downtown Burlington. The graffiti. Guess what? We're gonna give you community service hours. Guess what? We're gonna give you swag bags from all the different. Business. Guess what? At, when you bring at the end of the thing, we gonna have like entertainment. I mean, so you know, it's you, if you mix those together, like you know, um, happy media stuff together with like something that seemed like clean up, clean up graffiti. Then you, it's a straight up winner every time. I know it's for a fact. You know, it always a winner, and so that's what we do. You know, that's what you do. That's what we do, and we're gonna do more of it. It's gonna um, can't wait to talk about. So so let's talk about. Okay. Here we are, you know. <clears throat> so, what 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 you feel that our podcast gonna be like, Bob? Well, you know, what well I already know was that our goal is to reach everybody in this entire world, you know, about um, you know, try to try to help them um, create um, be humble and get wisdom and live and wisdom brings you a long life. You know, we that goal is to by using words and events and. Everything that we can think of that that's good and help them with their own goals and dreams, aspirations based on things that they want to do in life. I think I might have said what you about to say, but what 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 do you think? Um, 
our podcast, it will be like, you know. I, I think it's really cool. And I think we can go many different ways with it. And that's the best part about it right now, because it's, we're kind of envisioning different options, but I love the fact of getting, you know, if we can have people calling in and have discussions at some point or, you know, just kind of featuring people on there, connecting with others and just focus on uplifting humanity and and using art in any form, you know, whether it's writing or the power of words, because spoken word is a form of art too, like everything. No, um, and I think that that's the main goal is, you know, we both have that passion to help people and then you know, we both want to help spread positivity and, 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 you know, as we say, the light and get people to kind of be like, Hey, let's, let's light this world up with excitement and joy and like good energy and good vibes and, yeah. you know, get everyone together. And that time that we're together and that we do dedicate to it, we'll, we'll have giveaways, like you said, and partner with people mm -hmm. and have, um, you know, try to make it something that is worth your while and you yeah. won't definitely won't regret ever right, tuning right. in. Right. It's, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's, 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 um, it's non-traditional. We're, we're, you and I are non-traditional, first of all. Yeah. You know, because most, most shows like our cable show right now is like, you know, here we are like laughing, and talking, you know, like, what up, what up, Candace? You know what I mean? We like, you know, we cheerful and we cool, you know, you're sitting by your, your, your pond in your backyard. That's so nice, man. That's the, I know that's the Water is the purity of the world. Is what is is the is the is everything you know what I'm saying so I know that I know that's one of your big deals. Water. Well, this is the background, but if I could be outside right now, I mm -hmm. would. But this mm -hmm. is my backyard, so it's, yeah. it's out there. I yeah. just <laughs> and you got two ponds, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, but it looks so cool, you know. Kentucky is that real Kentucky bluegrass? <laughs> that is real Kentucky bluegrass. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny, but but anyway, so so um. I'm, I'm like I said, um, so so that's a good answer about uh, how you feel that um, our podcast is going to be because I feel, you know, we think the same on the, on these on these on these issues and these you know how we feel. But it, and, as and we like say, said, what is it too great to measure? As you say, it's we oh, don't man. know what it's going to be. It's just going to grow, right? And it's just going to be beautiful. Too that's great to measure. Gonna... Can't measure. Yeah. You know, I know that for a fact. I know. It's, I know. Right now, it's too great to measure. Can't measure. People who thinking like us are trying to help the world. That's all. That's what that's what I've been doing. That's all I do, and mm -hmm. and and that's all you've been doing through poetry. And so, the good thing about that is is I mean, I see I I can't use the words. I, it's hard for me to use words because I say the good thing, and good mean good. You know what I mean? Like you know, exceptional mean exceptional, excellent mean excellent. You know, but I stuff is too great to measure. You know, and so. So I'm gonna say two great uh, the good the, the two great to measure things that we who we are is that we want to um spread um you know love and happiness with people place in, in places you know whereas that um they need them you know where people who just want to have a outlet you know what I mean because like uh, power of spoken word you know that's what they call spoken word you know that's why they call these um events that people want to come to a spoken word you know event or something. Well, and it's open space with no judgment. And I think right now, so many people get the fake persona of people that walk around and they're like, hey, we're super nice. We're here to listen to you. But then when they really want to express themselves, people generally either shut it down or, and so I think just having a space where it's like, hey, just come be yourself, right. share your work, let's collaborate, yeah. let's let's see who you really are and getting, and I think that's huge because right. I know for me, that's the reason I created my, my website. Mm -hmm. um, I knew it was safe. Right. I, I, I knew that there's nobody that can make comments on there. Like that was the first step mm -hmm. to me trying to put my work out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I, I think that's going to be huge with the podcast is that it's going to be, like you said, we're not traditional. So we're just giving people like we have that space and we're allowing it too, as we keep going. So, right. Yeah. And so, I mean, look how much we're going to learn, too, you mm -hmm. know, from everybody, because, you know, we're trying to we're trying to hit this worldwide thing, you know, and um, and we will, because that's how that's how we bred. That's what we bred for. You know, what I mean, you know, mm -hmm. bred for worldwide. So it's you know everything, you know, like I say, work in divine order, in order that's supposed to. And that and 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 that's where it's working for us. You know, what I mean, like each, each step, like right now, it's working there. Like everything worked in divine order to get to right here, you know. And uh, how, and that's too great to measure, you know, and it's too great to, and it's always going to be too great to measure. I'm not going to put a measurement on it because I can't. But 
it's so awesome that we're going to learn a lot from people about poetry, how they look at words, what words mean to them, you know, maybe even some symbols. I don't know. But, um, you know, it's going to be awesome how much we're going to learn just be able to listen to other mm -hmm. people around the world. And, and also the good thing about it is what we're trying to do is share, just give them a platform to be able, be able to be creative based on what they love. You know what I mean? You know, people might even... People might not even, you know, think about poetry as much, you know what I mean? But all they gotta think about like 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 um like the affirmations you write every day, you know. So what you know I, what was your affirmation today? <laughs> I um, let me look I here. I, <laughs> I, I know I got it, but um, so yeah, though and um, I think we talked about I'll eventually come out with a book that has them in it, but right now I'm just trying to get them together. But the one I did today was here we go um so i always start up and, and say how i feel right because you have to address the emotion so i put that i woke up and i felt like today was today right because today was our show and i was inspired so i'm like let's go and i put today is the day that i've always prayed for today god opens the door i can't wait to see what he wants me to explore so that yeah I know. awesome i know mm -hmm. and this was just like that some somebody you know who we work with don't have to have no necessarily have to have a whole like a that's a poem of, of itself an affirmation yeah. you know but they don't have to have like a a page poem you know mm -hmm. a page that or words that were like poetry but they could if they want to but just like an affirmation you know just like how you say uh, how you felt and then because how you felt or how you feel sometimes in the morning you know, okay, I better change this around right now. Mm -hmm. It was called intervention. I better, in, in the theory, I better change this around right now if I'm going to make it through this day happy happy, and, you know, and successful. You know, I got to I gotta change my emotions, my feelings, and all that right now. And so just to be able to write an affirmation, you know, based on how you feel right then mm -hmm. and change how your feelings is right then is is powerful. You know. Well, and I think we both know, you know, and I, I don't know if everybody knows this, but when you first wake up in the morning, that's how you start your day. And if you don't get yourself and take a minute to get yourself out of any negative, because, you know, of course I wake up sometimes I'm like, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to <laughs> do this, you know, but I'm like, okay, I got it. It's adulting. Let's go. You know, I got to do it. Um, but I want to do it with a smile, right? Because I'm like, well, I might as well just do it with a smile. So taking that minute to flip can change your whole yeah. your whole day you know right. so that's huge i feel like just taking that minute to recognize how you feel no doubt about it. that's so important like you know like i was telling you about you know i was i was saying suggesting you that you know we should check out make sure we um check out our, our physiology you know what i mean like you know mm -hmm. check check out um um like how many steps to get from your house to the car i mean you probably from every not you but anybody everybody let's say just to walk down the stairs from their house to the kitchen or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, some any a scenario like that. People just do it automatic, systematic. They don't actually realize, first of all, if they walk down those stairs like that, you know what I mean? They, you know, they don't know if they touch the rail. Did mm -hmm. they, you know, um, do they always, you know, you know, skip the, you know, they might remember if they skipped the last step or something, but um, just to walk down those steps and, you know, don't necessarily, you know, some people should, what all of us should do is sometimes is count those steps that we walk down. Uh, do, uh, I touch the rail, so you know you can you can understand yourself from your physiology, mm -hmm. and, and you know don't take things for granted. You just see it and you feel it, and um, so it's good to to understand physiology the ways we use it for ourselves because it helps us to be like, wow, I've been doing this for five years. <laughs> why I've been doing that? I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? No, it's crazy, I'm the man. weird person standing out in the courtyard with my eyes closed, absorbing the sun <laughs> on my lunch break. And everybody's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Y'all are over here on your laptops and stuff sitting outside. I just need to take a moment. Because who doesn't like the sun? I mean, besides mm -hmm. like, I mean, it can cause cancer. I'm not promoting people to be in the sun. But like, I know that also if you take that minute, like you said, to be like, you don't even have to close your eyes. But if you're just right. like, oh, the, the warmth on my face, you know, like it just feels good mm -hmm. um yeah right and... exactly exactly feel the warmth on your face that's right yeah. that's right go stand in the sun you know I mean? go across the street or whatever you know I mean? because if it's not on that side it's, on, it's definitely on the other side yeah but go on the other side stand in the sun get some vitamin d i guess you know what i mean i guess that's what it comes from from um mm -hmm. energy and get that light from you try to suck some of that light down 
on you and try to absorb some of that energy. And you know what? If you stand in the sun for a while, you can feel the energy, you know, that warmth from that sun. And then you feel like, you know, you feel different too, you know what I mean? You really do, you know? I'm and then, you know, back like, in the office. I'm like, okay, I'm ready now. I just need to go get <laughs> to the sun. I'm okay. You really feel different as well, you know? So I know because, you know, that sun really brings you, know, you energy and, and you feel some power from it. And that's why people like to, one reason, not not because it's all about sun tanning, but it's people love to lay in the sun. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just to feel that sun on their body, boy. It's amazing. It's amazing, you know? And so, yeah, you're right. So, you know, and to go out and then go out too, like, and look at the, like, you know, the universe. You know what I mean? Just try to look, see if you can see with the moon, you know what I mean? And stars, you know, she started to like, I used to be sitting back in my hot tub. I'm like, that ain't no daggone star. That's a, that's a, you know, oh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in, uh, uh, object or something, you know. You know uh, I'll do that about where I live because where I live in the country, there's a no spaceship. Light, there's no light pollution where I live, so there's just nothing but stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I walk out there, and I know all the time. I'm like, okay, I, and my son's ten, and we've even talked about it. I'm like, is that a star? And he's like, mm -hmm. no, that's not a star. And mm -hmm. I'm like, it is a star. And so we've been confused. Like, is it a satellite? But in the time you're present, right? You're you're present in that moment. You're looking up at your surroundings. You're not distracted by all the stuff right. going on. You're just there. And right. I think that that is what we need more of is, you know what? Who cares what it is up there? The, the point is, is that mm -hmm. you're curious and that you're looking wow. and you're being present. All those stars and you can see the big dipper, the little dipper. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be looking for, I'll be like, that, that's the little dipper. That's the big dipper, you know? And then you see them. Now, those are the little dipper and big dipper for real, you know what I mean? And all the stars and... I think know, Starlink's you know. what confused me. They put all them satellites up there yeah. and now <laughs> they light up right. sometimes and I'm like, I don't know what's what. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of satellites up there, granted, you know? You know, I never think that is a satellite. I always think like it's some... What do you call it? Um, some, some Martian or something or something. Never know. What do you call them? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> a. Uh, I can't think of the word. The acronyms. But um, yeah. So, wow. You know, but to be able to look up there, look at the moon, and you're like, I have a friend, and I said, Wow, bro, check it out. You know, you know, we be like, you know, I don't know, hanging out or something. And, and I said, Look up. That's a full moon. You're like, Bruce, that's not a full moon. That's a <laughs> You know, four quarter, three times, you know, <laughs> so he, he's a, he's a, um, well, he's a, he was a math, ma a math mate. So he's like, he's, he's all in this, you know, he, his numbers are like incredible, you know, that's why he's on a, he's ex our social media, Teddy's on a social media um, director. And that's not, that's, that is not no full moon. You know, I got to, come on, Teddy. That, what, you, no, that's a moon that he have the name for it, you know, whatever. <laughs> You know, so he's he's so cool, though. You know, I like come on, Teddy. That's a full moon, bro. Come on, man. You know, and you're like, no, nope, that's not a full moon. But you know, it's it's so cool. You know what he said? Because but it's a good thing about it is that how much fun we have. Just if we were just if when he said that, you know, or or you know, some or anybody's just talking about the universe and you know, because as you know, and one thing that um we discussed and what you what you what we're trying to do is like you know. Why are people fighting, killing each other? Why? Why? Oh, dear God, dear God, please, God, please stop everybody from fighting. Find some peace. Let them find peace among themselves. It's, you know, maybe this poetry will help them. One word can stop a war. I know it can. But man, I feel so sad about all this war and killing and murdering, you know, just because. You know, you know, I guess they got their reasons, you know. You no, know, but the reasons are not good enough, you know, to be killing each other, you know. Well, as we've discussed, I believe, and people can say that they want to, I believe we can create a form of heaven on earth, you know, and we do that by kindness, um, welcoming environments, promoting it, you know, like we're doing. Um, and there's people like us all around the world that will connect and, and just keep making it brighter and brighter. And then eventually, hopefully, there will be no need for war. You know, eventually people are like, you know what, guys, what are we even fighting over? We're all humans. We have one planet we have to share. You got some vegetables. I got some fruit. Let's share. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's right? not that complicated. No, it really no, is not. No, no, it really isn't. You know, it really is not that complicated. It isn't. 
But for some reason, they feel it's complicated. I don't know. I think that's the, it's the devil working real easily. And he, he's not working hard at it. Either. He's, it's real easy. So mm -hmm. We manipulated these people to um, fight over something they can sit down and try to solve, you know, like fruit and um, vegetables. I mean, um, and um, hopefully the poetry and the words can help stop something because um, can help heal some people and within their families, you know, because these young kids today, in the world are uh, witnessing um all this devastation this war and you know and then they you know sometimes you just can't help poverty or whatever but you know god can you imagine running from missiles at the age of uh, young age running from missiles and staying in a dugout and can't get the water is not running and you can't get food to eat and you know just it is i mean wow and it's sad oh. because my son, I think I told you he's 10, and I won't even let him watch the news because what happens when he does is that I'm asked, Mom, am I going to be able to see the world when I grow up, or are they going to destroy it before I'm grown? Mm -hmm. And you know what? I refuse to answer those questions because a whole bunch of people that I can't do anything or talk to about are making decisions that affect everyone else, and I don't feel like they're very peaceful. You know, and it's just like you said, there's lots of problems that need to be solved. But I tell my my son that, you know what, that's not the world that we're going to choose to live in because that's not the reality we're going to accept. You know what I mean? We're going to make it better. And that's all we can do. And, um, you know, I can't imagine those kids that don't have someone that's good because, you know, if we don't have hope, we don't have anything. Right. Um, and that's any human. If you don't have something to to hope or to look forward to, then you'll get up and you'll keep going, but you're not going to be invested in your life. You're just going to exist. Um, yeah. And we don't want that. You know what I mean? We want people, like we said, present, enjoying the moment, not having to worry about, like you said, those kids um, that are suffering, you know, and have to hide and worry about things they should not have to worry about. Right. 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 It's, 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 a, you know, it's a damn shame. Really it is. And um, I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I wish, but I was with somebody. Um, I I was with somebody. Um, a couple of days. You know, we just was um coming from a meeting, or whatever, and um, they, they was walking with a bottle of water, and and then they start pouring the water. I said, "What the fuck?" For? It's they say it's a bug in it. There was a bug in it. I said, "A bug? That can't be no bug. Bugs ain't out right now." You know. He said, "I said." He said, "Well, something uh something was in the water," and so I was like. Here you got a fresh bottle of water, clear as it clears you clears, and people here around the world are drinking water it, it, that they can't even see their hand under. You can't they put their hand under the water, they can't even see their hand. And then yet still, you know, they gotta distill it, and, you know, I mean um, they gotta um, boil it and make it where they can drink it. And you throwing out good water because you see a piece of lint or something in it. Wow. See how <laughs> shit. Wow, man! People don't know how good it is in in um I guess in America or whatever, you know, and um they and see, they don't get to think about all the you know things devastation things or you know all the sad things that's really happening to other people around the world and why you know. I guess, I guess in theory, why should they, you know, why should they feel like that? You know, well, that's but, the thing. I mean, why should people stay on the path, right? When there's, it's like, well, what are we going for? And I think that's the thing is it's like, like you've said, you can go wide, but just, just come back. Um, so I don't yeah. know. It'll get better. It has to. Yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> yeah. And then that's it. Another thing too is like, you know, it's all about money, you know, it's all about money, you know, and like, you know, we, we could send a thousand dollars on you know, on this in theory, over to us to some needed place. And then it's and by the time we get it's a trickle down effect. By the time we get to the the kid to get, for the bottle of water, it's only five dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it because at, in, the money that went over there, they gotta it's a trickle down. There's gotta be administration, and uh, this that sister stuff's gotta get paid. This organization, you know, I mean everybody's gotta get paid before it actually um help the person that we sent the money to. You know, you know, so, you know, there's, I guess there's some organization that uh, also give a hundred percent of, of the, the money to people, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, and I have a, I have a huge fan base and, you know, some other countries outside mm -hmm. the U S um, one of them being India, I have a lot of followers over there with my Instagram mm -hmm. and, um, you yeah. know, it's very much 
talking with people, you know, that's one thing that social media is good for. You can connect with people all across the world. And it's very sad because you realize that our realities are not the same at all, especially during COVID. A lot of them, you know, that's the only way they could communicate. And I mean, just hearing how things are handled and not that it was bad. It's just, you know, what we consider normal and what other people consider a normal day are totally different. And if anything, it makes me grateful to connect with those people because I'm like, you know what, how lucky am I to not have to deal with, um, you know, like I didn't have air conditioning, like things like that. It was like, you know, um, little things that we take for granted, you know, like, like you said, water, running water in the sink, going in there and it being fresh and clear. That's not something everyone gets everywhere. Um, but the power of words, right. Because er, my words, even though they may have not been in the same language, they were able to translate them and they were able to connect. And that's why they reached out because they felt like my words spoke to them. And so, um, that's what gives me hope. I feel like mm-hmm. as a, as a poet anyways, is that in, in any kind of artist, because especially music, like music, any kind of beat or anything, right. you don't even have to understand the words. Oh I mean, man. No, was a really know. good one too. I like know. you can go there and not understand a word they're saying and be crying. No you doubt about it. No doubt about it. Cause you know, like almost, I love all types of music, you know, we've done over 700 events, events with all type of different genres. And, you know, I, I love all music, you know, like you said, all different beats. You don't have to understand the, what the heck they saying, but the beats, you know, the way mm-hmm. they they dance into it, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more power to the people. <laughs> well, we just got a couple of minutes here, um, Candice. Uh, so let's go over your website. Where is your website again? Um, it's oh. www.poetrypioneer.com. Mm-hmm. And um, um, they will be able to um. um um, they will be able to see it, you know, um, once, once, not in a couple of days on, on the show. Um, okay. they'll be as in, doing what it entails, but they can also look it up too. Um, and so, so you know, I, know I wasn't gonna say this, but you're coming up to Vermont, baby, you know, to, <laughs> uh, to help celebrate Black History Month. Yes, you know, how good is that? You know, we're gonna have a, it's gonna be art in the park, Cedar you know, Park, it's gonna, it's gonna be, um, a live entertainment and a Flynn Theater, the, the Almighty Flynn Theater, one of the best theater in it. Well, it's probably the best theater in the state if we were to really say so, because people maybe in Rutland say the Paramount is the best. You know, people mm-hmm. in, um, in um, Montpelier say the Berry Opera House is, you know, but, but in, in reality, the Flynn is the best because it really is. Um, but not better, no, nobody, you know. But uh, what a majestic type place to have a performance and and i'm glad you're coming up to enjoy some festivities that's going to happen there um when my i'm a born on board we wanted to once in my my um, organization that i'm on the board director spot a gigantic sponsor so you know you know so I'm, I'm proud that they did you know and the whole thing a good thing about it is that you know you and i you know it's like you know every, you know like we know so many incredible people and and Wow, I'm telling you, God has put us around the best people, you know, we could to make things so easy for us to meet the goals in life, you know, you meet what we're trying to do. And so if I couldn't, if I didn't know people like you or other people, you know, what in the world, how could I, how hard would this work be, you know? And so to share it with other, anybody, mm-hmm. that that's what we try. We want to share this with anybody, anybody who knows me, anybody who knows Bruce Wilson, they will tell you that I, I'm working for everybody you know and, and i'm proud to do so i ain't better than nobody but i'll share my resources you know and like you know like like you have said you know like you'll give somebody the money want to pop half your candy bar and you, here it is you can your half of it you know and it's not like go buy you one it's like here you know <laughs> why not you know what that do when they start eating that candy bar Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. so good to them that put a smile on their face if you're good to their tummy you know, mm-hmm. yummy for that time. Who don't like candy bar and ice cream and all those cool things? You know, if somebody is really one and a half of the bar, you got it. Right there is make you feel good in life, right? You know, and then right then, maybe you think about giving half your candy. They they might think about giving some, they have their candy bar to somebody else who mm-hmm. they see, right? So that's the work we do. And it's easy. It's not hard. It's a simple thing. It's very simple. But as you know, well, as it come out in the end, the measurements are rocket science it's simple 
simple to achieve but at the but really it's rocket science it really really yeah. is and big and, and for you <laughs> and i it's bigger than that you know so i'm like we're not gonna i won't go there for on this episode but as we get better so candace owens number one come on what else we'll say say something before we go what what you want to say to the people to the people's um, or anything anything you want to say I just want to thank you again for reaching out to me and connecting with me and giving me the time and space on your platform to discuss the my poetry and what we have mutually discussed that we're both passionate about. And, um, you know, I think there is a poem that we put, I don't know if we're going to share the slide. Oh, that's again. right. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. Keep talking or finish what you said and share that poem. Then I'll be but there is a poem that I put on the slide because I also will create graphics behind my poem. So um, that's kind of what I call it quotes like, you know, like for and for the social media, you can create use Canva or different ways to create things like that. Um, but I hope that people will, will, you know, really engage with us and, and I look forward to it. And I hope that they enjoy what we're putting out because I don't know how they couldn't. I guess it's like, you know, we're nothing but just trying to have a good time and spread love and positivity. And, you know, I feel like poetry and other things are so kind of, you don't really think about it that way. Cause you know, a lot of poems are like about ro romance or about heartache and, you know, mine's about the world and how I see things and empowering people and spiritual awakenings and how to like, you know, embrace not spirit i guess you would say spiritual just awakening that there's stuff inside of us that you know it, we're, we're more than humans we're here to i mean we're human but there's something greater we're here to do and it's to live in a positive world and you know i think that that was all i've wanted to really say was just to thank you and to look forward to what well, we have hopefully join us at our events when we're there because i yeah. will be down there i think in april yeah i'll be yeah, down there in april yeah, for that one some, so yeah, april yeah, so um, I want to thank you for being my friend, my business partner, and um, and and you know we we have a good time, good time for what we're doing and creating. It's all from our hearts, and so with that, take us out with that poem, girl. Go, you go ahead. You t you read that poem for us. Go ahead. All right. Huh. That's our closing poem, everybody. Okay, so this one's pretty short. It's called "Be Bold." To be brave, we must be bold. To be bold, we must not believe all we are told. We are not to be bought and sold. A human's capacity for love is beyond that of gold. We are meant to be free, not living in fear and control. Nice. Nice. No doubt about it, you know? I mean, that, you know, I mean, who can't get nothing out of that? You know what I'm saying? Right? We're not, we're not here to live in fear and or to be controlled, you know what I mean? No, that's not what it is. That's not part I, of... You got to be bold, of, right? Because going to what we're doing is kind of going against the grain. You know what I mean? It's going against the norm of just put your head down, deal with what is out there, you know, clock into work, pay your bills, come home, do it all over again. It's like, no, let's be bold. Um, let's look at things and don't believe everything that you're told, right? Because you, that's why we have eyes. That's why we have ears. That's why we have all these senses. So we can connect and figure out, tap in and say, what's really going on? Mm -hmm. You got more than five senses, um, Candace. You got more than five senses. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. So, all right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to our so wonderful show. And um, visit uh, Poetry Pioneers on poetrypioneers.com. And uh, say hello to Candace. She, you know, she'll be on it, on our podcast March 15th. You'll hear all about it because we're going to be announced. It'll be all on CCTV announcements, you know, when we start up again. So, all right, Candace, see you bye. later, girl. Bye. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Okay, bye.